Hi BC, it's time for another update. I've got some vinyl to show and uh, just let's uh, get started. What's playing in the background? Slaughter. The wildlife. Great early 90s hard rock. And the first one. Nervous Enough. The first album. It's the one with the new thing and Fly High Michelle on. Power Pop Hard Rock. Great album. And uh, an on online purchases. Um, first album by Mr. Big. Finally got that. Beautiful condition. And an unknown uh, early 90s hard rock band. Actually, with the, the singer that was in Cacophonia. Um, they're called Nine Point No. Too far gone. Sound very much like uh, you could say Van Halen with uh, Paul Gilbert uh, on guitar. Actually, actually a pretty, uh, pretty great record. And uh, to some uh, funky music. Funk uh, metal, funk hard rock, funky hair metal. Don't know what to call it, but uh, it's white trash. Really great. It sounds uh, a little like uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers, but with a uh, hair metal twist. Uh, the singer is very. Uh, Pitchy and uh, some great guitar work, so white trash. Then uh, I went to a sale in a local store where the prices drop every day, and I met up with uh, Carsten, uh, and uh, he had showed in his video what he found. He found 30 vinyls. I only found nine, um, so I will show what I found. And Carsten, it was a great day, and uh, it would be, would be great to do it again. Uh, but it was the first ever VC meet up in Denmark. The first one is uh, Gary Moore live at the Marquee. And finally got Gary Moore run for cover. And uh, got me some cheap trick. Standing on the edge. And uh, thanks to uh, Chris or Fitzy72, I got a Jimmy Barnes, a freight train hard. He sent the first one to me uh, through a VCLT, and uh, I thought it was great, so uh, I'd take a listen to this also. And an upgrade copy, Vixen. And some uh, Danish uh, sleazy hard rock from uh, I think they're from '92. Uh, Free Cloud Nine, the last in line. And I got the solo album by Eric Martin. I'm only fooling myself.
very poppy, no, nothing like uh, Mr. Big, uh, very poppy, poppy AOR. And uh, this I was a, a buy. I thought there was a song on it that I remember from when I, when I was a child, but uh, it wasn't on this album. I thought it uh, was called something else, but uh, now I got some Robbie Neville, a place like this. And it looks like it's uh, some uh, AOR hard rock. But it, but it isn't. It, uh, it's more uh, funky, soul, pop, something like that. Very relaxing. I finally got me some uh, Survivor, Vital Signs. Who doesn't love this band? Great. Um, and then... Uh, this Saturday, I was out and uh, spending some money, and I got some really great things. Uh, there's uh, a Grail among this, but I will come to that last. I finally uh, got what I was missing in the bonfire: uh, fireworks. Now I think I have all uh, you can get on vinyl by a bonfire. And then I got a hold on Vice, Second Axis, German uh, hard rock hair metal. I had this on the CD many years ago, but I think I sold it again. So now I got it on vinyl. And uh, I got me another Loudness album. This is uh, the first one with uh, Michael Vizquera on vocals. The Soldier of Fortune. And uh, this is a, a little grail. I think it's uh, pretty hard to get a hand on. Especially in the States, I know how hard it is to get something from the early 90s. Uh, but this is uh, Aerosmith, Get a Grip, from 93. The sleeve is a little beat in the corners, but the vinyls are mint and it's on double. And now to my grail. This is also, it, it's actually a mid-90s uh, release, limited, it's numbered, and uh, I saw it at the store some weeks ago and I think, oh, okay, I'll, they'll be there and I'll think about it, but uh, I finally got a hold on it. The cover is a little beat somewhere, there's a little tear, but uh, it was a good price for what it is. So, uh, it's a uh, thunder behind closed doors. So you see it num it's numbered 4048. And there's a little tear, nothing major. It's a gatefold. And It's color vinyl. This is uh, red. And the vinyl sign, yeah, almost mint condition. And the other one is blue. There's some really great songs in this one. Of course, there are hit castles in the sand, but also River of Pain, Stand Up. Some really amazing songs. And it's an album my uh, girlfriend, my wife, also likes very much. So, um, 
That was a great find. And that's all for now. Um, yeah. I'm looking forward to know, uh, to see what you think and uh, talk to you. Bye.